the stars have always called to us. Pinpricks of light in the night sky, each a story waiting to be told. But one star, closer than all the others, has whispered secrets that could change everything we thought we knew about the universe. Proxima Centauri, a faint red dwarf just 4.24 light years away, holds in its orbit a world of mystery. Proxima B, a planet locked in an eternal dance, one side bathed in relentless starlight, the other cloaked in perpetual darkness. For years, we've studied the illuminated face, dreaming of life beneath its crimson glow. But the dark side, that shadowed realm was a void, an enigma, a frozen wasteland where life seemed impossible. Until now, the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's greatest eye into the cosmos, has turned its gaze to Proxima B's dark side and uncovered something no one expected. Faint signals, like whispers from the void, pulse through the blackness. Infrared emissions, energy patterns that defy explanation, flicker where there should be only ice and silence. These aren't random cosmic noises. They're structured, rhythmic, almost deliberate. Scientists are stunned. The data challenges everything we know about planets like Proxima b. Could these signals be natural, born of some unknown geological process? Or do they hint at something far more profound? Something alive, something intelligent, thriving in a place where light never reaches? Imagine a world split in two. On one side, a scorched landscape under a red star's unrelenting glare, where temperatures soar and the ground bakes. On the other, a frozen abyss, where the thermometer plummets to levels that would shatter steel. Proxima B's tidal locking creates this stark divide, a planet of extremes where the boundary between day and night is a razor-thin twilight zone. We assumed the dark side was dead, a barren expanse of frost and rock, devoid of energy, devoid of hope. But the signals tell a different story. They suggest heat, light, movement, things that shouldn't exist in a place so cold, so isolated. What could survive there? What could thrive? Let's step into the unknown. Picture the dark side of Proxima B, a landscape of jagged cliffs and endless plains, all shrouded in a darkness so complete it swallows thought itself. Yet, amidst this eternal night, something stirs. The JWST's data reveals localized sources of heat, glowing faintly against the frozen backdrop. These aren't the broad signatures of volcanic eruptions or tectonic shifts. They're precise, almost surgical, like beacons in the dark. Some scientists propose geothermal vents, pockets of warmth from a molten core deep within the planet. Others dare to whisper a bolder idea. Technology. Could these emissions be the work of a civilization, one that has mastered the art of surviving where survival seems impossible? The signals are the first clue, but they're not the only one. The JWST detected something else. Trace gases in the thin atmosphere clinging to the dark side. Carbon dioxide, methane, molecules that hint at processes we can't yet explain. On Earth, methane can come from volcanoes or hot springs, but it's also a signature of life, microbes churning in hidden ecosystems. Could Proxima B's dark side harbor such organisms, extremophiles adapted to a world without light? Or are these gases the exhaust of machines? the byproducts of a society that has learned to harness the planet's core or even nuclear energy to power their shadowed existence. The uneven spread of these gases, concentrated around the emission sites, suggests something localized, purposeful. It's as if the dark side is alive, breathing in ways we can't yet comprehend. Water. The word alone sends shivers down the spine of any scientist searching for life. On Proxima B's dark side, where surface water should be frozen solid, the JWST hints at something astonishing. Insulated reservoirs, hidden beneath layers of ice or rock, where liquid water might persist. Water is the cradle of life as we know it. If it exists here, shielded from the crushing cold, it opens a door to possibilities we've barely dared to dream. Extremophile bacteria, perhaps, clinging to geothermal vents. Or something more complex, something that has evolved to see in the dark, to build, to think. The presence of water, even in trace amounts, rewrites the rules of habitability. It tells us that life might not need sunlight, only energy, and Proxima B's dark side seems to have that in abundance. 
let's pause and consider the implications. If these emissions are artificial, if they stem from technology, what kind of civilization could exist here? Imagine a society that has never seen a sunrise, never felt the warmth of a star. Their world is darkness, their sky a canvas of stars they can never reach. Yet they've survived, perhaps thrived, by mastering their environment. They might tap the planet's core for geothermal heat, or wield nuclear reactors small enough to fit in a cave yet powerful enough to light a city. Their structures, invisible to our telescopes, could be buried beneath the surface, insulated against the cold, glowing with artificial light. Their lightning, as some scientists describe the emission patterns, might be the flicker of vast energy grids pulsing through underground networks. This isn't just survival, it's ingenuity on a scale we can barely fathom. But what if it's not technology? What if these signals are natural, the result of processes we've never encountered? Proxima B's core could be a dynamo, churning with molten metals, venting heat through cracks in the crust. These vents might sustain ecosystems of chemosynthetic organisms, creatures that feed on chemical energy rather than sunlight. Picture alien analogs to Earth's deep-sea vent communities, glowing faintly with bioluminescence, weaving a delicate web of life in the dark. The methane could be their breath, the heat their cradle. This scenario, while less sensational than an advanced civilization, is no less profound. It suggests that life can take root in the most hostile corners of the cosmos, redefining what we believe is possible. The data raises more questions than answers. Why are the emissions so structured? Why do they pulse in patterns that seem almost intentional? On Earth, irregular yet organized signals might come from a bustling city at night. Streetlights, factories, highways. Could Proxima B's dark side host something similar? A metropolis of shadow? Or are we misreading the data, projecting our hopes onto a cosmic Rorschach test? The JWST's resolution, as powerful as it is, can't yet show us structures or artifacts. All we have are spectra, wavelengths, and the tantalizing possibility that we're not alone. Let's zoom out for a moment. Proxima B isn't just any exoplanet. It's the closest we know, a neighbor in cosmic terms. Yet it's still impossibly far 4.24 light years, a distance that would take our fastest probes tens of thousands of years to cross. But the breakthrough Starshot initiative dreams of changing that proposing tiny, laser-propelled spacecraft that could reach Proxima Centauri in a human lifetime. The JWST's findings give these missions a new target, the dark side. What would we find if we could send a probe there? Would it detect the hum of machines, the glow of artificial lights, or the quiet chemistry of alien life? Or would it find only rock and ice, with the signals explained by some quirk of physics we've yet to discover? The dark side of Proxima B is a mirror, reflecting our deepest questions about existence. If life can thrive in such an extreme environment, what does that say about the universe? About us? On Earth, we've seen life conquer the impossible. Bacteria in boiling geysers, worms in the crushing depths of the ocean. But Proxima B pushes that resilience to new limits. A civilization there, if it exists, would have solved challenges we can't even imagine. They'd have built warmth in the cold, light in the dark, hope in the void. Their technology could teach us how to survive on Mars, on Europa, or beyond. Their existence would remind us that intelligence, like life, finds a way. Yet the possibility of technology sparks not just wonder but unease. If these signals are artificial, what kind of beings created them? Are they like us, curious and searching, or something entirely alien, with motives we can't guess? The patterns in the emissions, described as resembling urban lightning, suggest organization, scale, intent. On Earth, such patterns might come from a power grid or a communication network. On Proxima B, they could mean anything, a warning, a beacon, or simply the byproduct of a society going about its business. The thought is humbling. We've spent centuries looking to the stars, assuming we'd be the ones to make first contact. What if someone or something has been there all along watching from the shadows? The JWST's data is just the beginning. Scientists are now racing to analyze every wavelength, every anomaly. They're comparing Proxima B to other tidally locked worlds, 
searching for patterns that might explain its uniqueness. Most exoplanets with similar orbits show extreme temperature gradients, with no hint of activity on their dark sides. Proxima b breaks that mold. Its emissions, its gases, its potential water, all suggest a world that's alive in ways we don't yet understand. Is it an outlier, a freak of cosmic chance? Or is it a glimpse 